amorphous and crystalline solids. On the basis of arrangement of constituent particles inside the solids, they can be classified as follows. 1. Crystalline solids. 2. Amorphous solids. Crystalline solids are those kind of solids in which all constituent particles are arranged in a fixed 3D external geometrical pattern so that they have short as well as long range of constituent particles. For example, sodium, calcium, gems, etc. Generally, they possess the following characteristics. They are considered as true solids. 2. They are anisotropic in nature. 3. They have definite heat of fusion. 4. Sharp melting and boiling point. 5. Fixed external geometrical shape and size. 6. For example, diamonds, metal, etc. Amorphous solids. These are those solids in which there is no regular arrangement of constituent particle not in regular pattern and there is only a short range of order of constituent particles. For example, rubber, glass, etc. Generally, they possess the following characteristics. 1. Amorphous solids have a tendency to flow, though very slowly. Therefore, Sometimes these are called pseudo-solids or super-cooled liquids. 2. They are isotropic in nature. 3. They do not have definite heat of fusion. 4. Low melting and boiling point. 5. Irregular external geometrical shape and size. 6. For example, rubber, glass, etc.